guys, this is Ray here with you today. Today we are playing with new products and creating this beautiful ball liner look right here. So if you are excited already, stay till the end of the video and for now let's rock this look. Okay, today I've decided not to go from zero to queen transformation. I want to make it a little shorter and jump into the most interesting part. Today I'm testing out two new things, especially they're new for me. Uh, it is the Soft Glide Long Wear Eyeliner High Intensity by Hard Candy. I've never used that brand, so it's gonna be super exciting for me. And same brand, 360 Volume Mascara. Uh, and it is a bold color mascara and they kind of match with the liner so both of them are in deep violet like screaming violet color and today I've decided to go for must-have neutrals I will use the lightest one for the base um, and I'm gonna go for my Sony Kashuk Universal shadow brush So, and to some extent, it feels a little weird using this color as the base because it is a shimmery color. I do believe it's gonna look great, but it still feels weird. Now, taking my 105 blending brush by It Cosmetics, I'm gonna go for the next shade and I will define the crease. Next, I'm taking my Morphe 507 brush and going for this dark grayish brown shade. To the outer corner it goes. Just going back to our transition shade. And by the way, I'm using my Sonia Kashuk 273 brush. Now with Morphe 507 brush we will pull the same dark shade right here to the lower lash line. Okay, we've prepared our eyes and now let's get to some fun! So I have this liner, the Twisted Grape is the shade, let me show it to you. So let's open it together. Oh, I love this holographic package. And the very, very, ooh, it is metallic. Stroke of gorgeous. Soft glide long wear eyeliner. Hmm, that is promising. So let's swatch it, guys. Here we go. Ooh. Okay, let's go ahead and line our eyes with this one. So it is not that pigmented and it doesn't connect to the eyeshadows well. I mean, on the hand, it's beautiful. On the eye, over the eyeshadows, it's not performing its best. I'm just trying to layer it and not working the way I want to. I'm just trying to layer it and it doesn't work. Oh, it's moving my shadows. Oh no. Can you see that patch? It just scratched it off. That is crazy. Oh no. <sighs> okay, this one is a hard pass for sure. So on hand, it looks beautifully, but on top of a shadow, it scratches them off. It has no pigment, so I can't say that I like this product at all, by any means. It is such a pity because I wanted to like it. Okay, I'd better not risk my makeup for this pass. Completely no, never again. So, as you can tell, I wanted this makeup, so I will still line my eyes with purple. I will get some, some of these, I will get some concealer. I have 
line my eyes with concealer and now I'm gonna grab this beautiful purple shade, the super violet shade from Jackie Hills palette. By the way guys, the swatch on hand, it is, it is long wear, really long wear. It does not move. Good thing, but I wish it could perform better. So now with the angled brush, I will apply the eyeshadows over the concealer. Here we are, we have our liner done, thanks to the eyeshadows, and let's try the mascara, I'm just beyond excited, so let me show it to you. It is the same stroke of gorgeous collection, and the shade is Royal Treatment. Bring your lashes to the next level with Hard candy stroke of gorgeous mascara. This mascara is deliver intense pop opaque color that will not clump or flake and stays bright throughout the day. Blah blah blah. Here we have a wand. Twirl, twirl, twirl. Ooh, look at this. The color, the way it looks on a wand is Gorgeous. I hope it will be the same on my lashes. Let's see it. I will take a smudge brush and put some extra light color on the lower lash line just to make that purple pop. So let's add a layer because I believe it gave a color but not the volume. It says it has insane volume. I do like it. It is not that voluminous as promised, but it definitely gives some volume. And the color, you can totally see it. For some extra pop of color, I will add uh, Fascinating by MAC to my waterline. You can definitely tell that the color is there and the color is, is good. You can definitely tell that it's purple, at least purplish. I like it. I do. So let me spray my face quickly with Pixie Milky Mist. Oh no, guys, you know what? Just look at that. OMG. I thought I'm happy and I like the product, but I've sprayed my mist and it never happened before. But with this mascara, it just stamped all all my under eye area. It's uh, I'm so mad. What shall we do? Let me fix it and give you my final thoughts. So here we are. It's fixed. <laughs> I'm the way better. Uh, but ah. Uh, I hope I had a makeup day which is good and bright and full of bold colors and it turned out to be such a disappointment. About the eyeliner, it is total no. Bye. Yeah, it looks good on a bare skin. It is waterproof, it is smudge proof and everything proof. I mean, you see I just rub it so hard and it's still there. But all over the eyeshadows and I mean, you may want to wear it over the eyeshadows, why not? Or you may want to wear it over the powder on your lower lash line. It doesn't work, it pulls off your makeup, it doesn't show the pigment. So I just had to put the concealer and dry shadows line instead. And talking about the mascara, on a box it doesn't state to be waterproof. It never did, so I'm not mad at it. Um, yes, it never happened to any of others mascaras, but it is a color mascara and I do not expect it to be waterproof unless it states so. But I do like the color 
it shows it pops it gives not much but it does give a volume so it's not bad it's um, if you want to have something for fun uh, this product is okay it's kind of a um, cheaper dupe of Urban Decay why not why not to try it why not to play it's like six bucks something affordable and anyway I did not want to spend like a lot of money like Urban Decay to play with color mascara which you will need to replace in three months who wants that uh, I mean you can totally play with this one for three months throw it in a trash and forget it here we are guys at the end of the video so today we've definitely had fun and experienced something you explored the products and I'm really excited about that one I hope you enjoyed this video if you did put thumbs up subscribe to my channel and don't forget comment down below okay for now i'm wishing you a good day and a good makeup day as well loving you all Mwah.